and hello again YouTube this is a video for my 300 subscriber special and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a World of Warcraft server on Linux VirtualBox so the first thing you need to do is download the VirtualBox Oops. There, Oracle Virtual Box. So I'm having Windows 7 64 bit, so I should get the Windows Host Edition. Click here, save the file, save it to not there. my dedicated virtual box folder and you also need the virtual box extension pack also save that 6010 and you don't need nothing else by the virtual box second thing we'll need to do is get to Ubuntu because it's fast and free and I love it quite much go to the download section then you should get the Ubuntu desktop or Ubuntu server the difference between this and that is that this have, has a graphical user interface I have quite a lot of RAM, so this is not an issue for me. If you have a bit of smaller resources, you should go for the Ubuntu server. The terminal commands are still the same. So, whatever I get, this or that, it, it should not matter for me because all I need to do is use the terminal for the most part of this video so let's grab the Ubuntu desktop I don't know if I have it let's see if I have this version I have it, oh well and go ahead and replace that Come on, baby. You can do it. Meanwhile, we should go ahead and install the virtual box or those, those by the date modified and run as administrator 6010. Best thing about the virtual box virtualization is that it's free. Boom, yes, I know. About my internet. Start it. Then this is what it looks like. Here are my old, old virtual box virtual machines. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one. The name will be Ubuntu 64. Wow, like so. memory size I just put a bunch here 8 gigs should, should do just fine yeah I can go ahead with 16 but oh well who cares I'm gonna create now a virtual disk 
it should always be VDI if you need to extend your hard disk in the future. So click here VDI and click next, dynamically allocated. Then I'm gonna put here 25 gigs. That should do just fine. So I don't know. Just go for 30. I don't care. Boom, like so. Then we go to the settings. And here should be bidirectional. We don't have a floppy, the optical should be first, the hard is second, USB tablet, this is also ok, I should give it all the 6 CPUs with those two, I'll just, ah that's, that's ok. I have a acceleration for virtualization, so if you have acceleration, you should check that option here. Uh, this is also okay. Video mail, okay. Let's give it a bunch. I have one monitor for now. And let's go ahead and set the VirtualBox Super VGA. Oh well, it doesn't like it. So here you sh we should remove the, the controller, then add a disk to the SATA controller, open the so we downloaded it earlier and click then click choose like so. So we're gonna have the Ubuntu and the partition. Simple as that. The bolt on SATA. Audio, I don't really care about the audio. It should be not for now. Intel Pro 1000 empty desktop. So do want to take it without any drivers. We don't need the USB interface. Then click OK. The second thing we need to do is go to the preferences and remove 606 extensions. And I'm gonna point it here and install the extensions for 6010, like so. Boom, like so. And now we are ready to start the thing. Here we can see a bunch of hard disk and CD-ROM activities. Here's our chipset. We don't ha have any USB devices whatsoever, but this is how I, I like it since this thing is a virtual machine. Uh, we're gonna check English, then install Ubuntu. English US continue. Oops, I clicked something else. English US there. Minimal installation because we don't need utilities of office things and media players and advertising stuff. And download updates or starting Ubuntu. This should be checked save a bunch of time 
I'm not going to check this installed third, third party software because this is for players, codecs and such things I don't need those for my virtual box or server machine so continue if you click here something else you should partition the disk yourself or erase disk and install Ubuntu this will format the entire drive and automatically create all the partitions for you so this is what I'm gonna use otherwise you're presented with that you can go get new partition table then click that create new and blah 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 and so on then I'm gonna just erase disk install Ubuntu just that uh, it says it will create on zero SDA partition one SDA as X4 this is also ok then continue here it found the location Sofia Bulgaria continue and my name is Mangus computer name is Mangus DB mm, password will be Mangus Mangus like so boom continue and now it starts installing the Ubuntu software I'm not going to waste your times with installing the Ubuntu operating system so I'll just leave the video to rest for now I'll be back when this thing gets installed.